to my students who will be watching this video, good day to all of you. Yesterday, we talked about arithmetic sequence. And we learned from our discussion that an arithmetic sequence is a sequence by which every term after the first can be obtained by adding a constant number called the common difference. So I, I highlight yesterday that the most important element of an arithmetic sequence is the common difference. Because once you know the common difference, you can solve many problems involving arithmetic sequence. So the discussion yesterday was so simple. We just tried to determine the next term. Like for example, in our, in, in, in our blackboard, I have here an arithmetic sequence. And our task yesterday is to simply find the next term. So, as I have told you, the most important, uh, the first thing that we have to do is to find first the common difference. So, in this example, our common difference is 3 Our common difference is 4. How do we do that? 11 minus 7 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. 19 minus 15 is 4. Constant. Okay. So therefore, the common difference is 4. So we can now find easily the next term. So what should be our next term? Our next term is 23. As simple as that. But our topic today is just a continuation of that lesson. But this time, we need to find the end term, to find the, the, the questions being asked in the given arithmetic sequence. Like for example, Let's say, you are asked to find the 100th term of the given sequence. Does it mean that you have to add the common difference many times until you reach the 100th term? If that is so, I can say that the process is so difficult. But we can make the task easy by finding first the end term. And that is our topic today, finding the n term of the given sequence. So, to find the n term, I can use the first term, second, third, or fourth. Okay. To find the n term, okay, meaning to find the pattern. Okay. Meaning to find the pattern of the given sequence. Okay. Now, the end term pertains to, pertains to A1. Okay, the end term pertains to the first term, second term, third term, uh, and so forth and so on. Okay, now, to find the pattern of the given sequence, I will use the first term to generate the pattern. First, what is the common difference? Yes, the common difference is 4. I will multiply the common difference to the subscript of A. What is the subscript of A? 1. Okay. And then, 4 times 1 equals 4. What number must be added to 4 to have a sum of 7? Of course, I have to add 3. Because 4 times 1, 4 plus 3 equals 7. So that is our first term. 
our first term is 7. Okay. Using this pattern, I can now formulate the n term. Okay. Or the last term. Again, a n could, could be can be a1, a2, a3, and so forth and so on. Using the pattern, what did we do? We get the common difference first. The common difference is 4. And then the common difference is to be multiplied by the subscript of A, which is N. And then in the pattern, we add positive 3. So plus 3. Okay. Simplifying, we have Therefore, this is now our general pattern. This is now the N term. Okay, let us try. If this is true with all the other terms, okay, before using this pattern, I will try to check the validity of this pattern by solving the third term. Okay, using the pattern, I will solve the third term. So that is for our our n is three. And so we we get fifteen as our third term which is true in our given arithmetic sequence. Now, I, I can say that I am confident that the pattern I have generated is valid and can be used in solving another term in the given sequence. Let us go back to the question being posted. What is the 100th term of the given sequence? Again, Using the pattern that I have generated, I can now solve for the 100th term. Okay, so that is for, okay, the subscript of A. The subscript of A is 100 plus 3. So, for times 100 is 400 plus 3 equal. Therefore, the 100 term is 403. Easy. Simple. Okay. So that is the way how to solve another term of the sequence. All you need to do is to find first the general pattern or the n term, and then you can solve another term or many terms using the pattern that you have been generated. Okay, let us have another example. Okay, let's say this is our problem, our next problem. Given the pattern, you are asked to find the 95th term. Okay, first we must first create the n term or the general pattern. So to do that, I again, for convenience, I will use the first term. So first term. Determine the common difference. What is the common difference? Our common difference is 6. And then I will multiply that by the subscript 1. 
and then six times one six what is the number to be added to get 11 of course we need to add five okay from this initial equation i cannot generate the general pattern so the general pattern of a n is tending for any term that i want to solve by copying the pattern above the common difference and then the common difference is to be multiplied by the n plus 5 or simplifying that we get 6n plus 5 so this is now the pattern for this i can now proceed in solving the question being asked in the example okay i am asked to find the 95th term using the pattern the 95th term using the formula or the rule that is 6 times 95 plus 5 let us simplify let us simplify 95 times 6 okay so 30 54 57 so the product of 6 times 95 is 570 plus 5 plus 5 equals 575. Okay. Therefore, our 95th term is 575. I hope you feel it is very easy to find the n term of the given arithmetic sequence. So, thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Goodbye and God bless you all.